Hi, my name's Chris, and I'm the training manager here at the 365 people. This video we're gonna be showing you today is going to be all on the interface of Business Central. So that will include how we navigate round, how we filter, how we sort lists, just like we used to do in the role tailored client, but there's a slight twist because everything's in different places. We'll also talk about how the, uh, the system will now allow you to do personalizations, as well as change the design of certain pages using extensions. I hope you enjoy the video. So here is the Business Central client that we're going to be going through and just showing you sort of some of the basics around navigating around, changing some of the views. And we'll talk a bit later about changing the personalization and changing the design of this client, especially as it looks um, so very different to the role tailored client. The first of all, the, the first thing is the navigation pane down the left hand side is moved. It is now these series of buttons across here at the top or drop down menus. So, for example, if I select sales, for example, I get all the stuff related around the sales side of the system. The same with purchasing inventory, etc. down this at the, at the across the top here. At any point, though, you can decide to then pin this to the very top just by pressing this pin, the navigation bar right up at the top. And then what this does is then it just it pins it open on all the pages across the entire business central. So give it a moment while it uh, does its thing. Okay, so it's dropped the menu down here. So whichever menu I select on, so if I decide to get a posted documents and posted purchase invoices, the navigation pane will remain open uh, and up here at the top because it is pinned open. At any stage though, you can then just unpin it and of course it will then go back to only appearing once you then click on these options. So it's entirely up to you as to whether you decide to have that in there or not. One of the other parts of the Rolltailer client, which is sort of quite heavily used, is the ability to be able to search for different areas of the menu structure. That is still roughly in the, right, in the same place, it's up here in the top right hand corner. I've got a little magnifying glass up here at the top. And then what happens when you click on that is that little window then pops up and you just basically type in there as you did before. So chart of accounts, for example, and it will search through the menu structure. The only real difference is there's actually now a shortcut key that you can use to open that search menu up. And it's basically Alt and then Q. All right, so if you press Alt and then Q, it will open up the search menu. So you don't even need to use the mouse to get up to that screen. You can literally just press Alt Q and start typing in exactly where you want to go. So for example, I want to go to my list of customers. There is my list of customers. I can click straight onto it and it will take me straight there. Really nice. We kind of like that feature that you can just open it up and just type away. So on a list page, um, some of the new stuff that we could do is that we've got this ability to be able to focus on things or not, as the case may be. So we've got this uh, icon up here, which is for like a, a wide layout or not. So by default, when you click on, let's say, the customers and the list comes up, you'll sometimes get basically this list section comes up. But if you really want to focus it, you can then just sort of click on that button there, the two arrows on either side. It will then open it up in a much wider view for you to be able to see that sort of information. You'll also notice that fact boxes don't seem to appear on this uh, particular list in my case, and that's probably because I've actually hidden them. But you can actually bring back your fact boxes at any time just by pressing this icon over here. It's a circle with an eye in the middle of it. And when you click on it, the fact boxes will then appear on the side for you. And again, there's actually a shortcut key for this, and it's Alt and F2. And that will literally just cycle through showing the fact box or not. Really useful, especially if you're on a maybe on a smaller sized screen uh, and you don't need as much space being taken up by the fact boxes. So you can just get rid of that. But it's really nice and easy just to toggle through whether you're going to have it on display or not. Some of the other options that we might have is uh, on the list is a view of the different layout options that we've got. So here's the symbol up here in the top right hand corner for you. And when you click on that, you get a, you get the option to have a list, tall tiles or tiles. So what tall tiles does is it just changes it and uses the picture that's set on a, on the customers to quite quickly create a set of tiles basically for every single one of our customers. Uh, the other option of course is we've just got tiles and that just basically makes them smaller tiles. Not quite sure if everybody wants a picture of their customers sort of on the things but pictures of items on the other hand um, is probably quite a useful thing so not only do you get your item number your description but you can actually see what the item looks like as well.